Hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. I'm your Chief Tronka and today I will continue my Albania or Iberia campaign. Um, yeah, so let's go. This is the first episode I will record today, so I first have to kind of check out wh what's going on. I think... Wait. Improving relations with Hungary. Really? Didn't we... Didn't we want to declare war on him? Or maybe he was declared... Okay, anyway, so... We are allied to Poland and Austria. And they're both defensive. Uh, we have taken Ragusa as a vassal. And we are currently fabricating... We're, no, we're improving relations with... Alba uh, with Aragon and Ragusa and we have we can go to war with Serbia they have no allies but and we don't have the truth yeah but the reason I'm not declaring war is that I don't have an army well I do actually but Bosnia does not have an army so I'm first gonna you know wait and I'd rather attack like Venice with Austria's help, it would be more like would be more beneficial to us. And no, hold on. What was the? So the idea was I'll take Lika, but first the royal marriage has to go away because otherwise I get a stab hit, and I don't want that. And then I was trying to take Dalmatia and Istria, and release Croatia and feed him all his cores. I think. He has one, two, three, four cores in Hungary and one in Dalmatia. So yeah, we have a truce with Venice. We still have a truce with Venice. And we have a mission to take Lika, I believe. Wait, where's where's missions? There you go. Um yeah. So I guess that's something. I mean, I could declare war on Venice, like, right now, and just take Dalmatia. Whatever. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. So, he's coring- Connacht will be... whatever. So, Ragusa is currently coring this province. That's good. And he's building- he's finally building an army. Nice. And we are losing. No, we're not losing money. We could f build one more dude. But we should build him. Um, yeah. So Hungary is currently at war with Poland and the Papal State. So we'll see how that goes. And eventually we will declare war. As soon as I think it's our guy, Skanderberg. Yeah, he's 55. I mean, I don't want him to die, but he he will die eventually. So now, does that mean that w since we have no Albanian core, does it mean we are automatically going to accept every single culture? Because that would be awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. Like, we would even... Like, we have no problems because we just accept every single culture, right? And there it goes. Circassia, uh, Georgia and ex Circassia. Yeah, that was like the last couple episodes. Georgia and Circassia have been at war, and Georgia finally took them. So that's good. So we just need to fight one country here, and we'll take over all of Georgia, and then we're... We're done, probably. Although, what is the... What is the... Uh, where's the region map mode? There you go. So this is Caucasus, yeah, so it's all of Georgia, except, well, this is also. This is Azerbaijan. So I need Ganja. I don't need this. I need Yerevan. So all of Georgia, I need Yerevan, Ganja, and Shirvan. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so all of all of the all of the orange region or whatever color this is, plus these two provinces, plus these three. So th those five provinces and all the orange ones. Okay. And yeah, all of this pretty much. Iberian Peninsula, Iberian Peninsula, Iberian Peninsula. Yeah. Iberian Peninsula. Good. Nice. And we have like the worst prestige ever. Oh my god, it's so low. How can it be so low? So low. And we are No, we actually we haven't played that long. It's only six it's only been sixteen years so far. And we still are we're still a one province minor, but we have a core and we have a uh, we have a vassal. Now I think I want to declare war on someone else before I go to war with Serbia, simply because, um, simply because I don't want Ragusa to be overpowered. Like if I have one province and Ragusa would have like six provinces, that would be way too much, and I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. Connacht collapsed. Yeah, that. I mean, actually there. Everyone's still around. And Cornwall, I mean, England is... I think if Northumberland would be free, then England would be as split up as possible. Like, then every country would be free. Come on, Northumberland. We're waiting for you. Actually, no. This, this could have been Wales. Like, if this would be Wales, this would be Cornwall, there's Northumberland, then there's England. That would be nice. Be perfect. So I hope that this game, the Burgundian inheritance, is not going to fire, simply because I want France to have someone they have to fight. And also, if this fires, then Austria is going to be overpowered. I don't want that because he's not going to be my ally for long. Because we will border each other very soon, and then we'll have to fight. So I could actually potentially Burgundy would be a nice ally because he would help me against Austria, he would help me against France. And I if I if I take a steal, he won't border me. And of course he doesn't care about Georgia. A bunch of decisions in the Ottomans. It's okay. So yeah, what I think we'll do, uh, since there's not much happening right now, I will stop recording for a little bit. And I will come back if something interesting happens. Alright, see you soon. Okay, I'm back. Um, this might be something interesting. So there's a new big war in Italy that just broke out. Savoy apparently declared war on Milan because of the government. And now Milan is at war with Ferrara, Tuscany and Savoy. Their only ally in Italy is Siena. And they also have Baden, but I'm not sure if they're gonna help. But they have a big ally, England, so it's, it really depends on what England will do. However, Savoy is also allied to France, but they haven't called him in yet, or maybe he refused, I don't know. He still has a truce with England, but it runs out in one year, and at that time he will probably declare warning anyways. Or France is maybe just wrecked, because they lost that huge war. Who knows? Um, yeah, I've been, I've been thinking that what I what I was planning on doing last time, I want to get another co another uh, claim on Zagreb and Slavonia, and I will take Lika, Zagreb, Slavonia in the war with Hungary, and then once I declare war on Venice, I will have a claim on Istria, of course, and I will give Dalmatia back to uh, what's his name, Croatia. So I'll have Croatia will have four provinces. I will have Istria. And next war with Hungary, I will take Varast. And yeah, as soon as I've uh, freed Croatia, I will go to war with Serbia and take them either as a vassal, well, probably as a vassal, because I don't really know what else to do. Although, no, well, they want my provinces, and they have aggressive expansion, 
minus 91. That's... Well, that sucks. And it's gonna grow bigger. But, yeah. We'll see. We'll see about it. Theodore will be forced to do something. Become a vassal of Crimea. Okay. But Genoa still has some stuff over here. Alright, that was it. Um, I will probably... Yeah, I'm just gonna stop recording real quick and I'll come back if something new ha or interesting happens. Okay, everyone. I'm back. So, what happened? Well, a bunch of little countries like Munster annexed, I think, East Frisia and... I don't know, a lot of things happened. Uh, Denmark, actually, no, Muscovy declared war on Twer. And after that, like, right the day after, Denmark declared war on Livonian Order. Now... Livonian Order is allied to Riga, Teutonic Order, and Muscovy. So Denmark finds itself at war with Muscovy. And the two orders and, you know, all that stuff. Um, what else happened? Uh, Ottomans allied Golden Horde. So this is going to be a pain in the dick. And um, other than that, something else happened. I mean, Burgundy and Denmark, that's a, that's a strong alliance. Anyways. Yeah, so why did I unpause? Uh, I think, like, as you maybe know, I'm pretty impatient when it comes to waiting around, not doing anything. Oh my god, lose 50 Diplo. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the Diplo, really. I can't, I can't lo lose the Prestige right now. Anyway, so, I, I kind of just want to go to war with Serbia. We now have 7,000 troops, so I will increase maintenance. And, um... We have this god leader. We have to. We have to lose. We have to use this Gunderberg for as long as possible. So I will have to. We'll have to go to invade Serbia. They have no allies, and we can declare war on them, like right now. Actually, need a diplomat for that. So let me. Let me get you. I mean, I can still wait. I can actually check out. Um kind of scout around how many troops Serbia has because I believe we can see his capital if we put an army over there yep so he has 6,000 troops we have we will have 7,000 plus he has a wow he's a 4-1 really he has hills hills but this is hills this is mountains as well uh, I would like to see the terrain in dude hills Hills. So it's it's mountains, mountains, hills, coastline. So yeah, pretty much we just gotta do this in a good way. So go come back from uh, wherever you are. And next month I'll declare war on Serbia, and I will hope that he comes and attacks me, and I will make sure that. Ragusa is Yeah, well I can I can change it later. Alright, so there you go. Declare the war. Um take Zeta or Ruska. Which one? Uh, probably Ruska because it's easier to take. Or whatever, I'll take Zeta. He's building a ship. I declare the war. A war with Serbia now. And I please, 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 please make him supportive just so we have a really decent army. Alright, it's time to strike. Ragusa, you can, uh, you can shine now. All right, you gotta walk though, bro. <laughs> I hate those auto saves. I mean, they're they're just terrible. And Austria just changed their government form to an archduchy. That's good. And go back to increasing relations. And improve relations, whatever. You know what I mean. Probably also should improve relations with the Pope. Well, they're pretty good already. He's building more and more and more and more dudes. 
I hate that. Can you please support? What? Where are you going, bro? Yeah, thank you. I hope he's not coming. Because if he is, it would be terrible. Can you, like, arrive? What is going on? Alright, so... We are sieging his stuff down. We're gonna siege faster than he will. Probably. I don't know though. Does he have a siege value? He doesn't. So, I will actually sack the army. Don't do this, and uh... Why didn't I ra add a rival? Really? Uh, they should they should tell you if you like this is this is something I don't like. Like for example, if you have if you if you only have let's say if you could pick like three rivals and you only have two, they will tell you. But if you if you have if you can only pick two rivals and you have only one, then it won't tell you. And that's stupid because I could have I could have said Serbia as a rival, but I didn't, because I, I didn't know. Can you please move? Dude, move your feet. Oh my god, whatever. What a retard. He will arrive on the 25th. But it's gonna be hills. So, I'll leave two guys, I'll select this unit, and I will help him. 24th, 3rd, 4th, go. He has a negative 2 crossing, but he has a f nice leader. Actually, I will have to send all my forces. There you go. And we will arrive on the 2nd, on the 1st. Oh, he just arrived, okay. And on the 5th. So hopefully we can win. We're really doing this minimalistic, but, you know. Should have sent all my forces at the same time. It was stupid. So, we have a 5-5. Five, five. So we're winning this, and he has a negative 2 penalty. And yeah, so we're gonna hunt down his army now, and then we'll just one army on each province and there you go six war score and boom crush his army and then we'll put one army on each stuff eight war score nice so yeah spread out you go to sap serbia you will go here and you go there wait I said you split. Nah, he won't split. All right. So you stay. You go there. Okay. Fine. So now, Serbia, uh, like um, not Serbia, Ragusa will have to do the fighting for us. But I think he can. He can handle it. And we gain 50 military power. This is really good. And now I will need to... Actually... I guess what I could do... I mean, I could vacate Zeta for a moment, just destroy his army real quick, and then... We'll come back. And... Oh, I'm not, yeah, I should probably unpause. So I will destroy this army, then I will come back here and siege Zeta first. Or maybe Serbia. Actually, K Kosovo is fine, because that's uh, that's a promise I can loot. So that's good. Um, yeah, 3%. Although Kosovo is the gold province, so I want to take it first. Because then we'll get the production. I will get the production gold. I want that. Alright, destroy that, go to Zeta, and there you go. 
I will arrive on the first. He will, yeah. So we'll, we'll catch him, and we're actually getting some prestige for that, which is really helpful. But we will get we will get more prestige if it, he would be uh, our rival. I can, yeah. I'm not gonna do it though. All right. Oh, uh, he's he's built another troop. That sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Because now he's gonna be in the mountains. Negative two. Oh man. That really sucks. So we will arrive on the 22nd. 27th, okay. That might be stupid though, but I'll do it anyways. Just need to crush his army because then we can siege away. Alright, done. So actually take this guy. Take out the Skanderberg. Okay, yeah, I know. Thank you for telling me. Alright, so more or less that was it for this episode today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next episode we will finish our war with Serbia and probably just vassalize them. I guess it's the best. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you uh, liked the video. If you did, please, you know, subscribe if, if you want to see more of my videos. Anyways, I'll see you next time. This is Chief Tronka, signing off.